this is a 28 year old adult. Tell me why you are choosing to allow someone that demeans you, attacks you, threatens you, threatens everybody that you love and care about, live in your home? Well, Dr. Phil, um, Brittany was a normal person. And growing up, she had a lot of incidents that happened in her life. When her grandfather died, things changed in her life. Right. She became very depressed and very sad, and just certain things changed her. From and she was how old when she calls him Poppy? Yes. How old, how old was she when? When her grandfather died, she was 20, around 21. OK. 22. So she was an adult then. Correct. And that's been seven years. Correct. And people go through a grieving process. and. I understand that this was a substantial loss in her life because her father had been gone since she was a child. He left at the age of seven. He moved to Florida. And right. And so, you know, she feels a, a substantial rejection there. Right. And Poppy really stepped in and filled a role yes. of a male authority figure in her life. She bonded with him. She leaned on him a lot. They had a great relationship, yes. and then she loses him. Was she volatile and explosive with impulse control issues before her grandfather oh, died? No. Absolutely not. Okay, so it wasn't um, things that she says now. She says, I will kill you, right. and um, I, I wish you nothing good. I, I hope you die. All of these horrible things that she says. None of that was before he passed. No. Okay. Did it begin immediately when he passed? No, when he passed, she just started changing and she was depressed and then she actually had an episode where she was one day in the tub and she was incoherent and we had to call the police because she was kneeling down and just not even speaking to anyone and it all of a sudden it was like as if she snapped. And, and what um, called the police? Well, my mother did because she was at my mother's house and my mother called the ambulance and they said that they had, they asked her what was wrong and they had to call the police. So the ambulance and the police came. Mm -hmm. They took her out of the shower with no clothes on. They wrapped her up and then they actually waited until she calmed down and then took her to a hospital. This was the first time she was in a hospital. Okay, you said till she calmed down. You, you first said she was just on her knees kind of staring ahead like she was catatonic. Right. But you said she became agitated? Oh yeah, she became really agitated. She was screaming at the police and she was telling them to get out of her grandmother's house and she was just totally... Well, in fairness, if one minute you're taking a shower and the next minute there are a couple officers in there with you, <laughs> um, I mean, you do... You do have a reaction to that, right? Right, but it wasn't that type of reaction. It was more of a mental reaction. It was definitely that there was a, a mental issue going on at the moment because when they took her out, she didn't respond at all at first. She was just very catatonic. And then as a little time passed, by the time I got there, she was getting agitated. Okay, and you said for a while she would just break things, but then it turned to you. She stopped breaking things so much and started attacking you physically. Correct. Okay, why do you put up with that? Is it because you think that this is a mental illness and she can't help herself? Um, I believe there's definitely something mentally wrong with my daughter, yes. So to the point that you believe this is involuntary? I do, yes. So you think this is not something she can control? You think it's, it's like she loses control, loses contact with reality and becomes a completely different personality, a different psyche, she and loses, does this. She loses uh, her contact with reality to the point of that she's going to kill me. I'm in fear for my life. I cannot live with this person anymore. I she, cannot then, have her with me. She's going to do something. She's going to hurt me. Okay, so this is going to end now, one way or the other. You're, she's not going to live with you anymore. No, she cannot live with me. Okay, so what is, if she doesn't go home with you today, where is she going to go? I don't know. I don't know why I have to try to figure something out because if she comes back to me, Dr. Phil, we're dead. My family is gone. Either she's going to go to jail, I'm going to go to jail, somebody's going to get hurt, somebody's going to be dead.